Welcome to Sketch Picks and Chill. I'm your host, Mr. Chill. And I'm Pixie. Today is day two of the Marvel Advent Calendar unboxing. Let's see what marvelous Marvel character we have today. And today we have... Captain America. I mean, Steve. Roger Dat. Let's go in for a closer look. Here's Steve Rogers. Also known as Captain America. Captain America. He's played by Chris Evans in the movies. And this isn't Chris Evans' first time playing a Marvel superhero. No, sir. He plays the Human Torch in the Fantastic Four. But, you know, I, th I think he's doing a little bit better as Captain America than he did as the, as the Human Torch. <laughs> Anywho, yesterday we covered Iron Man, but today is all about Cap. Iron Man came first in the advent calendar, but Captain America popped up in the comics long before Iron Man came on the scene. Really? Just how long has Captain America been around? Captain America was first published in 1941. Holy moly, he has been around for a long time. Yes, ma'am. Captain America was created by Jack Kirby and Joe Simon and made his first appearance in Captain America Comics number one. Hold the phone. You mean Stan Lee didn't bang Captain America? <laughs> Stan the Man Lee definitely helped make Marvel Comics what it is today. But back when Captain America first came out, Marvel Comics was still called Timely Comics. And Stan Lee still went by the name Stanley Lieber. Although he didn't invent Captain America, Captain America was one of the very first things Stan Lee worked on when he started out in the comics industry as a teenager. Captain America looks pretty tough. Was he born with superpowers? Nope. Before he was Captain America, Steve Rogers was just some short, scrawny kid. No way! <laughs> Yes way. He even got bullied as a kid. He was too weak to even fight back. Then how did he get his powers? Ever heard of a little scuffle between countries called World War Two? Yes, Mr. Chill. I have heard of World War Two. <laughs> of course you've heard of World War II. Steve Rogers heard of World War II also, and when he heard about the bad guys trying to take over the world, he quit his career as an artist to join the United States military in their fight against evil. But I thought you said he was too weak to fight. Wasn't he afraid to fight? He was probably terrified of fighting, but real courage means fighting for what's right, even when you're afraid. And what Steve lacked in muscle, he more than made up for in courage. So, the military took him in when they saw how brave he was? <laughs> of course not. He was a weakling. He was immediately rejected. You're kidding me. I kid you not. But, obviously, the story doesn't end there since he eventually becomes Captain America. Will you please get to the point and tell me how he gets his powers? Okay, okay, fine. Even though Steve Rogers doesn't have what it takes to be a soldier, an officer, officer, I don't know, Tommy Lee Jones sees how determined he is to fight bad guys, so he says, He may be half the size of these other soldiers, but he's got twice as much grit. I'll get my scientist buddy to make him into a super soldier. Really? He says it just like that? I may be paraphrasing. Anywho, Steve Rogers becomes the first test subject for a new super soldier serum. The serum works, and that's how he gets his powers. So, what powers does he get? He basically becomes the perfect man, the epitome of human perfection. He's as super as a man can get while still being considered human. He has enhanced strength, speed, endurance, the works. And then, as soon as he gets his powers, a bad guy shows up and... Well, the bad, bad guy gets the scientist who invented the super soldier serum. What do you mean by the bad guy? Get to the scientist. Well, let's just say the scientist isn't going to be making any more super soldier serum. Oh dear. 
Oh dear indeed. So that's why there's only one Captain America. Other people try to replicate the super soldier serum, but it never turns out quite right. But that's another story. That's several other stories. In fact, there's like 80 years worth of Captain America stories. I couldn't possibly cover it all in this video. But the first time I ever saw Captain America was in the X-Men cartoon from the 90s. Wolverine goes up north to visit Captain America, but Captain America is frozen solid and Wolverine is all like, Hey, I'm sorry you're an ice cube, bub. Are you paraphrasing the gun? Maybe a little. But in every version of Captain America, the good captain fights bad guys in World War II before spending some time as a popsicle before being thought out by the Avengers, who he now currently fights alongside. Oh, and his arch enemy is some guy named the Red Skull, and at one point, Captain America punches Hitler in the face. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to talk about his shield. That is kind of a big deal. In the movies, Iron Man's grandfather, Howard Stark, makes Captain America's shield entirely out of vibranium. But in the comics, the shield is made out of proto-adamantium, which is the strongest type of adamantium in the Marvel Universe. Dr. Myron McClane inv invents proto-adamantium by accident. That proto-adamantium is then shaped into Captain America's shield. The shield is Captain America's main weapon, and he can use it both offensively and defensively. How's the drawing coming along? It's almost done. I made some sketches to help me decide what pose to have him do. Here I have him throwing his shield. But to make that work, I would have to put the shield in the foreground and Captain America in the background, and I didn't want Captain America to be in the background of his own drawing. I've also got this pose where he's running towards the camera, but I ended up going with this pose. Captain America is a classic hero, so I figured I'd draw him in a classic hero power pose. He's stoic. He's heroic. He's rocking the red, white, and blue. The same colors as the American flag. And he's looking off in the distance. Towards the future. Towards America's future. And now it's done. Wow! It looks great, Mr. Chill! Why, thank you, Pixie. That's it for day two of the Marvel Advent Calendar character unboxing. I hope you at home enjoyed watching us draw, and I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about one of America's most iconic superheroes. Captain, Captain America. America! Who are you going to draw tomorrow, Mr. Chill? Let's just say it's somebody incredible. So you and everyone watching at home should come back tomorrow for day three of the Marvel Advent Calendar. But before we go, we should remind everybody to... Hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Sketch Picks and Chill.